show weird angle but I printed these out for my project and it's just like the same photo just multiple multiples of it and I'm gonna cut them out and exacto knife them and it's gonna be like the wall of my installation piece hopefully I can show you guys a little later and then I'm starting a scarf with this material and that should be fun now I'm getting ready to go out we're gonna have a bonfire tonight so that's gonna be really fun and I'm excited So right now I am cutting these photos out for my installation product and they're all photos of just random anime girls and like a few anime guys. My project's due in like a week in a few days so I have some time. So I'm just trying to like get all the busy work out of the way before my class today. And this is the box I'm going to be using to do my mini installation piece and these are the little clay things I made that I'm going to paint. That's gonna be like the furniture and I also bought some textured paper that's gonna be my carpet and this kind of has like a carpety feeling and this is gonna be like my wall um, that all those anime photos are gonna like go on top of. started crocheting this scarf it's barely in the works <laughs> but i've been working on it on the side i wanted to start crocheting some more cat beanies for you guys saying that they wanted to buy some i just have so much work to do right now um because we're starting to get into the thick of school so i'm a bit busy i'm gonna try my hardest on the side to try to do um some beanies and stuff when i have free time show you guys the books i had to get for one of my art classes um, so this art class is an upper division theory class and it's a visual public art class. So I had to get two books for that and they were required. I had to get this uh, public art theory practice and populism and I just bought it because I figured that it could be interesting. I had to get um, graffiti and street art. And this one's kind of sick. It literally has such cool art in it. And I was like flipping through and I thought it was cool. I want to show you guys some stuff I thrifted the past few weeks. I haven't got a lot, but I got some cute things I want to show y'all. I got this really thick knit sweater. Favorite things I thrifted because I've been wearing it literally for like a couple days straight now. I also thrifted this jacket um, and then the back it says Santana. I'm pretty sure it's the brand Santana, but it doesn't have the tag. I got it from a thrift shop called Flashback, so they have a lot of different kind of pieces there and it's pretty cool. So thrifted these for $20 and they're actually such a lucky find because they were in my size and they are just these cute heeled boots, or not boots, um, what are these called? Like clog, I don't know. Now I'm literally just cutting all the tiny borders off one by one piles in size um it kind of looks goofy right now but you guys will realize what my project is actually gonna end up looking like once i put it together but i'm separating it into piles and then a lot of these are all color coded so i chose all the same colored palette like so i have like a certain palette for this
So I'm walking to class. I have a really long day today, so hopefully I can get some good stuff. So this is my next woodcut that I'm going to be working on, if you guys are curious, but this is my outline drawing before I start cutting. This is my old woodcut from last week and right now I am using the dermals on the woodcut and this basically just takes away all the rough edges. So this is like a finalizing um, step, which is really fun. So cold. Um, right now I'm waiting for the trolley and it's really cold. These are all my wallpaper pieces and they're going to go into this box. I was just playing in there as you can see, but I'm going to decorate all my wall wallpapers and then I will show you guys how it looks like afterwards. up a little while ago but to go grocery shopping because I had no food and then probably going to get more supplies for my project to do tomorrow and then I have to do some readings and then I have class at 2 30 so I'm looking a little rough I've been breaking out a little yeah I'm about to I want to leave it here at 8 30 for the supermarket and then after that I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby have to open at nine, so so I can just like get that done.
So this is what I have so far. And then I might add these LED lights to them. I'm not sure though yet, cause I kind of like the vibe of the natural lit room. Hey everyone, so I did bleach my eyebrows for fun, if you can tell, anyway. I'm on my way to school right now, and it's super windy, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Doing much, just working on like work and homework and stuff. Um, right now, I am on the way to class. I'm going to be going to my wood, or not wood cutting, but printmaking class, and we're doing wood cuts right now. I've just been, you know, running around a bunch and filming whatever I can. Um, but yeah, lately I've just been enjoying, um, trying to enjoy everything, you know, around me and kind of immerse myself in what I'm doing in the moment. And that's been really nice. Um, and yeah, I've just been trying to work on mindset and then also, um, like taking in a lot of things. And I think it helps my work as well. A lot of my art and a lot of the ways I do my art, I think I base a lot of off of this life or like fleeting moments and things like that so yeah just kind of just trying to be living in the moment and not thinking too much about you know social media or anything like that but I do like to get like I do like to get clips here and there of some really nice moments that I appreciate a lot and I like to share that and document so yeah um right now I'm kind of scared to go outside because it is so windy really randomly too because I feel like where I live it's not like extremely windy like this but we are kind of by the beach kind of so it's like a coastal type of wind I think but it's crazy the clouds are moving so fast um but yeah uh, lately I've been thinking of starting a shop I <laughs> don't take my word for it because I don't know if it's a hundred percent gonna happen but um, I mean, I've been like so busy. I feel like if I started a shop, just the fact that I have to package things might be really taxing, but I think it might be worth it. I just don't know what to sell yet, but I have a few different ideas of what I could do, um, especially because I'd like to make like smaller items or smaller cute items that you guys can have, um, especially if you take a lot of inspiration from my work. I would love for you guys to be able to get stickers or prints, like affordable prints and things like that. And I do wanna work again on crocheting these bad boys, but they just take a long, they take a little while. Um, so when I do crochet, I've just been crocheting for myself. So yeah, it's, I think the thing I struggle with the most is monetization of my artwork. I've never, I think I have imposter syndrome about it because I'm like, I don't think anyone would want to buy <laughs> these things but obviously that's just a limiting mindset that I think I've had for a long time so I've been trying to get over that and try to you know explore those idea ideas and maybe make some cool things yada yada but anyway I am on my way to class right now and I'll talk to you guys hopefully after class It's so cold. I'm walking back to my car now.
So I ended up getting the wrong batteries for my project. So I have to go back to Hobby Lobby right now and it's freezing.